The telescope has just detected something unusual. It could indicate potential signs of intelligent life beyond our planet. If this is evidence proves to be valid, it might provide undeniable proof that we are not alone in the universe. Aliens could indeed exist, and this might be the closest we have ever come to discovering them. So, what exactly did the James Webb Space Telescope find? Is it possible that it's finally established communication with extraterrestrial beings? The telescope has identified something peculiar of Proxima b, an exoplanet that has captured significant interests since its discovery in 2016. But what makes Proxima b so unique? And why are astronomers focusing on it so intensely? To start with the basics, Proxima b is situated just 4.24 light years away from Earth, which is relatively close in astronomical terms. It orbits in what is referred to as the habitable zone around its star, Proxima Centauri. The habitable zone is essentially an area where conditions could permit the existence of liquid water, one of the essential elements for life as we understand it. Therefore, scientists have been eager to investigate this planet to see if it might provide any hints regarding the potential for life beyond Earth. However, the challenge is that Proxima b orbits a red dwarf star, which is not exactly the most welcoming neighbor. These stars are notoriously for their tumultuous nature, frequently emitting intense solar flares. This poses serious concerns, as flare could easily trip a planet's atmosphere, rendering it exposed and potentially unhabitable. Thus, even though Proxima b appeared to hold promise, there were significant doubts about its capacity to sustain life. Yet, despite these obstacles, astronomers persevered. They continued to study the planet, hopefully that might still offer some important insights. Then came the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. One of the primary missions of the James Webb Space Telescope is to observe the universe in unprecedented detail. Unlike its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, this new instrument is equipped with infrared technology. This capability is revolutionary as it allows the detection of faint emissions from distant stars, galaxies, and even exoplanets. When scientists directed the telescope towards Proxima b, they aimed to gather more data about its atmosphere, surface, and possibly even indicators of biological life. What's intriguing is that rather than identifying the usual elements like methane or water vapor, the telescope detected something entirely unexpected, a faint glow emanating from the planet's night side. This glow was not merely a natural occurrence such as volcanic activity or auras, it was steady and consistent, resembling the type of artificial lighting you see in a city at night. This revelation has astonished scientists. Could this be the sign of an advanced civilization? While it's premature to draw definite conclusions, the notion that we may have discovered evidence of intelligent life is difficult to overlook. And after all, artificial lights are among a few markers we associate with developed civilizations. If Proxima b does exhibit similar phenomena, we could be staring at our first real hint that we are not alone in the universe. What theories are scientists contemplating regarding this new finding? The possibility of artificial lights on Proxima b is nothing short of astonishing. If these lights are indeed the result of advanced technology, it could imply that a highly developed civilization exists or once existed on this nearby exoplanet. If true, this would mark the first time we have found direct evidence of extraterrestrial technology. It is not a trivial discovery. It is not just about finding bacteria or basic life forms. We could be talking about intelligent beings capable of altering their environment, potentially even constructing city-like structures. This realization emphasizes just how vast the universe truly is. However, as thrilling as this prospect is, it raises numerous questions. If these lights originate from a civilization, how advanced are they? Are they similar to our society? Are they undergoing its own technological advancements and challenges? or are they part of a much more evolved culture? The data from the JWST indicates that these lights covered a substantial portion of Proxima b, which could suggest the presence of either one large city 
or multiple smaller settlements distributed across the planet. In either scenario, it points to an organized society rather than random light sources. This leads to another question. How are these lights powered? Are they utilizing something akin to electricity, similar to our own systems, generated from natural sources like coal or solar or wind? Or is this where it becomes particularly intriguing? Have they developed an advanced form of energy that is beyond our current understanding? Proxima b orbits a red dwarf star, which is much cooler and dimmer than our sun. This might necessitate innovative energy production methods from the inhabitants, potentially offering insights that could help us address our own energy challenges here on Earth. However, what if these lights are merely remnants of a once thriving civilization? Consider this. What if this society is now in decline? What could have led to such a situation? They might have faced internal strife, encountered environmental changes, or even suffered a cosmic disaster. Conversely, what if the civilization is still flourishing? If so, this raises the possibility of actual contact between us and them. This leads to another critical question. Should we even attempt to make contact? History shows us that encounters between civilizations do not always go smoothly. There are numerous of indices in our own past where interactions between human societies resulted in either cooperation or conflict. So, if we decide to reach out to this alien civilization, what would that entail? Should we proceed with caution? Or should we dive right in? The ethical and practical implications of such a decision are vast and frankly quite daunting. Additionally, the discovery challenges our current understanding of what life can exist out there. For a long time, scientists believed that planets orbiting red dwarf stars were not particularly conductive to life. These stars often emit powerful solar flares that could easily strip away a planet's atmosphere, leaving it lifeless. Yet here we are, faced with the potential evidence that not only life but intelligent life could be thriving under such conditions. If this is indeed the case, it would completely alter our perspective on where life might be found in the universe. Red dwarfs are actually the most common type of stars in our galaxy. If life can flourish on Proxima b, it suggests that there may be other planets around red dwarf stars where life could also exist. Suddenly, the universe seems a lot more populated. Even locations we once considered unlikely candidates for life might be deserving a closer examination. So, what comes next? How will this discovery influence space exploration? This discovery could significantly transform space exploration, given that Proxima b is relatively close to Earth in astronomical terms, it's just 4.24 light years away. It becomes an ideal target for future missions. While that distance is still astonishing for human standards, in the broader context of the universe, it's practically in our backyard. Over the years, there have been increasing speculation about sending probes or even crewed missions to nearby star systems. Now, with the potential existence of lights on Proxima b, the urgency to explore could be intensified. Scientists might develop advanced propulsion technologies to study Proxima b and its possible inhabitants up close. This idea is no longer as far-fetched as it once seemed. The discovery of potential artificial lights makes Proxima b an even more appealing candidate for future exploration with the aim of gathering more data, examining the planet up close and possibly confirming the presence of an alien civilization. This isn't the first time we have attempted to locate extraterrestrial life. We have set the SETI Institute, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, which is primarily focused on detecting radio signals or other forms of communication from distant civilizations. However, with this new finding, we may need to adjust our approach. The notion of identifying city lights rather than merely listening for signals suggests that we should also be on the lookout for other signs of advanced technology. Imagine if there were more planets like Proxima b, where artificial lighting or massive structures could indicate the presence of life. This could signal the dawn of the new era in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. But it's not just about scientists who are getting excited. The discovery has captured the public's imagination for more than most recent space-related events. The thought that an alien civilization 
might be close enough for us to see the lights of its cities is both thrilling and awe-inspiring. People are eager for updates from the JWST and are anxiously waiting to see what comes next. Who can blame them? Beyond the scientific and public excitement, there's a broader consideration. The potential discovery of an alien civilization compels us to reassess our place in the universe. We have always viewed ourselves as the primary pinnacle of evolution, the dominant species. Is Proxima B truly harbors intelligent life? It would mean we are not alone. This realization could alter how we perceive ourselves and our responsibilities as a species, both towards our planet and the technologies we create. It's a lot to ponder, but it could lead humanity in an exciting new direction. Additionally, we may face potential threats. How can we prefer ourselves if an alien race exists just a few million years away? I'll be reading you in the comments box. If you liked the video, press the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on more content like this.